Hello, my name is Dana Kennedy and I am adjunct faculty here at Unity College where I teach animal care and training, which pairs great with my background as a zookeeper. I worked as a zookeeper at the North Carolina Zoo for around seven years with some of the most amazing species on the face of the planet, everything from horn puffins all the way to white rhinos. The day-to-day -day routine of a zookeeper is actually pretty varied and it depends on what animals you work with and the facility that you're in. For example, when I was working with puffins, that required us to come in every day and we would check on our birds first thing in the morning and make sure that everyone was accounted for and address any issues that we saw within the exhibit right away. When I worked with the African Plains animals, it was a little bit different. We didn't go right on the exhibit first. We actually prepared their diets first and then loaded the truck and then went out onto the exhibit to feed out all of the species and get a head count on everybody. When I worked with primates and some of the more dangerous animals like the bears, we had to check in with our crew first because we worked in teams. So it was really important for us to have two people to work those animals because we wanted to make sure that the animals stayed safe and that we stayed safe as well. So in those sections, we would meet with our team and then proceed to the buildings and get a head count on everyone. And then when we were ready to start moving animals around, we always worked together to shift animals on or off exhibit and double check our locks and all of our doors to make sure they were secure. After the animals are shifted back onto their exhibits, the next part of the day begins, which is the cleaning routine, which is not the most glamorous part of the job, but it is one of the most important parts of the job. Exhibits and enclosures are sanitized on a regular basis. Some days are heavier than others with just spot cleaning versus a full sanitation, but it is, again, really important part of our job. So we do spend a lot of time doing this to ensure that we're doing a good job and maintaining the health and safety of the species in our care. Other day-to-day -day tasks involve putting diets together, building enrichment projects for the animals. We had animals that were going to the vet hospital, so some days we were participating in vet procedures. We also did a lot of visitor and keeper interactions, so to help spread the message of conservation to the public and help inform people about what we're doing at the zoo behind the scenes so that they can be connected to the animals that they're viewing out on exhibit. Some of the most challenging parts of the job, definitely saying goodbye to an animal that you have grown to love. It's really hard to do. It makes me even tear up right now thinking about it. It is probably one of the hardest things because you do, you, you create a bond with these animals. So it's really hard to say goodbye, even though you know in your, in your heart that it's time for them to go. Another really challenging thing as a zookeeper, for me personally, was to make connections with the visitors. Sometimes you're holding a snake and people don't want anything to do with it, but it's really important for you to get that message out that snakes aren't scary or that bears aren't scary or that well, I worked with red wolves, that wolves aren't scary. So just helping people make those connections and breaking apart preconceived notions about dangerous animals or how they're supposed to live with them, just helping people make those connections. That can also be really challenging. Even with some challenges, the job itself is incredibly rewarding. Not only do you get to build personal relationships with the animals, but you also get to see so many of your projects come to fruition. There is nothing better than working on a training project and then finally having it succeed. For example, when I worked with baboons, I trained one for an ultrasound. So she was able to come to the mesh when the vet tech came. We were able to use all of the equipment on her without issue. And we were able to see a baby baboon in the womb. It's just incredible to have experiences like that and see all of those moments come together. On the other side of it, working with the public and having people make that aha moment like, oh, I get it, you know, There's, this is what I can do to make a change to help these animals, even if they live on the other side of the world, to help people make those connections is really, really rewarding and probably one of my favorite parts of the job. So that's just a little bit about me and what I used to do as a zookeeper, and I hope to see you in one of my classes at Unity.